Hello and welcome to Supreme Helper Minion Farm Slash Guide. Now this is going to be quite long because I'm going to be go over first a farm that is going to aid in the achievement, getting of this achievement or whatever the fuck you would call it. And then I'm going to talk about some stuff that will be very helpful while doing this. Now... First of all, the structure, you are going to need 12 pools of water slash other substances in total. Those being, starting off, you need a honey pool. This can be 200 blocks in size, the honey pool, it doesn't matter where it's located. You need an ocean, a floating island, you can make yourself one of your own. I luckily have one above me, but then you need six or you need five surface biomes, those being Hollow, Forest, Jungle, Snow, Crimson Slash, Corruption, the, 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 depending on which one you have in your world. You need a um, Mushroom Biome, it can be in any, it can be a surface, it can be anywhere. Then you need two Underground Biomes, one being Snow and one being Hollow. And lastly you need yourself a Cavern Biome being Forest. All of that's gonna be in the description. Now. A grandfather clock, or um, a clock in general, having it in here somewhere is pretty good because we're going to be using different characters when we go through this. Uh, a note on the mushroom one is you might want to add uh, some additional seeds in this one because I personally had a, uh, a difficulty getting this one to work, so I had to add a bunch of seeds or maybe make this a larger. I don't know. Up to you. The corruption slash crimson, since it needs to be more corrupt slash crimson blocks, you will probably need to add some. Corrupt slash crimson blocks at the bottom to get it to actually change. All of the other ones should be fairly simple. Now the how the size of this thing is fairly simple. On both sides there is 151 blocks, 19 tall and 8 wide on both sides. On the bottom it's 28 wide I think. I'm not completely sure but I think that should be the case. Then this is filled up with water, covering about 308 blocks. You need 300 or you will get decreased fishing power, which you don't want. Then above to the next biome, this is very important. This can be sl slightly smaller actually, like, like the surrounding the water, but or larger if you so want that. But this is fairly important. This is 35 blocks up until the brick layer, which is another 3, so it's 38 blocks between the biomes. It's just out of screen resolution, I guess that's an easy way of seeing it. On 1080p, or like 920 times 1080, that's this resolution I'm using. It might vary if you're using a smaller resolution, but that is how it works for me. Now, in the center of this, you add yourself the Fisherman and you get yourself quests. You simply go and do the quests Now let me see how many I have completed 24 You simply go up and do the so-called quest Then when you've done the quest you can actually fish up multiple fish of this type as long as you when you pick up the fish Either throwing it into a piggy bank, a bank, or just throwing it on the ground, you can pick up additional ones. And that way you can stack up a lot of extras, and that is not an enemy I like to see, but... Now, since this takes some time, I'm gonna speed up till I get the fish. Or till I get the fish. Alright, finally, that took me way too long, but I got myself the fish. Now, you simply just turn in the fish to the fisherman. The bed can be very useful if you have magic mirrors. You can simply add that into, into his house, and that will actually benefit you quite a lot. Then you turn in the quest, and now I get the first, one of the achievements, but... Then it will trigger to 25 now, as you can see, but... Or not. It, it, it did trigger to 25 as you clearly saw the achievement tr triggered. It just, it takes some time before it actually shows up. So keep that in mind. Now you can go on to multiple characters and do this. This is very important when doing this because this will definitely make it a lot faster. 
a note to do that when you do that is you can make characters that have no no gear whatsoever simply just give them some wings give them a fishing rod and give them a summon that is fairly strong and you should be good to go you might have to dodge some enemies particularly wyverns can be a hassle if you yeah the quests reset at 4 30 a.m in game time at that point you can take new quests All right, never mind. It did not take a while. I got the fish. That's good. Simply turning in the quest, quest, you get yourself whatever you get. And now this might not show as it's triggering right now because it takes some time before it actually shows up, but it does work on multiple characters. Meaning you can go you can go and make like 10 characters as long as you can manage to fish up 10 fish in the in the time. Before this turns it goes 24 hours around, which is 24 minutes in real life time. Um, a few other things to think about while doing this is the endless water bucket, which is a random reward from him, is very useful while making these because making all this water is going to take a long time without that. I think that is mostly it for this. Yeah, that should be it. Thanks for watching and peace. If you have any sort of uh, improvements to this, please let me know in the comments below. I would like to hear so. If there's any other guys you would like me to make, then let me know. Uh, yes. Peace.